Today we're looking at the Jude Devereaux Raider, the Raider set with the Max Steel Ken doll coming up after this. <laughs> If you've watched some of my Max Steel videos, you know that I like these bodies. They're really cool. They're like action figures. I especially like dolls that don't have hair, which is funny why I really needed to get this one. The Ken doll that they used for this set is actually the Max Steel body. And this set was released in 20... oh, 2003. So I guess that was kind of when Max Steel was in its prime. I was kind of hoping that the body would be a different shade, but I think it's exactly the same color as Max Steel's body. So I'd have other opportunities. I do have some Kens that fit. This It's not an exact skin tone. I don't have any Kens that are exactly the skin tone. There's another head that I like to put on here. I'm hoping to find more Max Steels. I usually find them at thrift stores and on Facebook Marketplace. This I did find on Facebook Marketplace. I guess it's kind of a uh, birthday present to me. It is a special set for many, many reasons. I uh, have been on many romance novel covers in my life. When I had longer hair especially, I would get jobs that did that, and I don't like long hair, as you might be able to tell today. I don't like really short hair either. It is a constant struggle. But this is the awesome set. I love the background. I am really into turn of the century stuff, and I don't know. I don't know when this is supposed to take place, but I'm super into the 1800s, the early 1800s right now, and it just seems where I belong, at least in mind, I don't know. The box is really nice, and this box is in pristine condition. It was in its shipper when I bought it, and it was at a very good price. I think I'm going to sell the Barbie that's inside, even though she's really cool. She is on the older body. I mean, I could rebody her and put her on a WWE body. Look at how <laughs> her eyes, she's so faint, or I was going to say drugged out. She can, It's very, very strange. I don't, can you see the eyelids? They're just, uh, just those little thin in between little spots in between her eyelids and then the rest is colored but it is a pretty doll and she is unique but we're gonna focus on him and he is he's got eyelashes when I get him out of this box we're gonna be able to see him better and he has cool clothes that fit there is the certificate of authenticity when I think they put him on more special paper I'm gonna take a look at that is it on a parchment paper maybe should i show this this is this is another max steel monster character i like to dress him up and this is max steel and then this is one of uh, the ones that i rebodied and they do fit in the ken clothes so they're pretty awesome they're a little short i would say that they'd be about 5'10 in so they're not really short in human scale because they're a little shorter but you can see here that he's not short towards Barbie I gotta figure out how to open this without wrecking anything better be careful and I am just gonna try to remove him without removing her I mean, he seems to be more sewn in okay after I figured out which ties were him and which ties were her. This is what she's looking like in there. I know she has some special shoes on, but I can't, she's all sewn in here and I still haven't decided. I guess you can vote down below, leave a comment. Do you think I should keep her, rebody her, use her? I don't love her. I have so many dolls that I love more. This guy, however, really cool. The funny thing about this is 
I like molded on hair. So for me to have this doll is weird, but there's a few things. Now I thought the skin tone would be one of the reasons that I'd have more selection to put uh, other heads on these bodies every once in a while. But it seems that it's the same regular Max Steel skin tone. But it's also, that's okay. But another thing about the Max Steel dolls is that our action figures is that the forearm always has a robot communicator or whatever it is on there. That's always on there, this silver armband, every doll. So this guy doesn't have it. Now maybe he has made to move joints. He doesn't. There is a made to move one I've discovered, Max Steel. I'm gonna have to get my hands on them. I have many different kinds with all different types of articulation. And I always will get every single one I find. So his outfit is pretty cool. I'm kind of into these flouncy shirts now for myself, considering I'm kind of obsessed with that time period. I'm thinking that maybe I'll wear shirts like this. I don't know. We'll see. It's summertime. It's the right time for shirts like this. But I like that. The little ties on here. I was playing with them and not showing you. Untied them so you could pull up the sleeves. I think what they did for this doll was that they put the right forearm or they put the left forearm on the right arm and they put it on backwards. I think people have told me that, but I don't think I would notice the difference. We'll examine that once we get his clothes off. Oh, he's got all this stuff sticking to him. His boots are all leather and they're all soft goods, which I was kind of, I don't know, I wasn't so happy about that, but they actually look better. They're moccasins, basically, but they look better than I thought that they would. I guess it's really cool to have cloth boots opposed to the regular hard ones that we normally have. Let's take it off and see how these pieces of clothing are made. He has a belt on, which I think it is, yeah, a functioning belt. Which is funny because his pants do up in the back, but his belt does up in the front. So you have to take his belt off completely. It's like a faux leather. See a metal belt buckle made pretty nicely. What's the end look like? I guess it's finished. Yeah. Finished well enough. And then the boots would be done in the same thing. And I guess there was some tape in there to hold them on. And that is the boot. Kind of cool. I like it. It's got leather straps at the top. Maybe I was supposed to loosen those before I took them off. They are attached. They're attached just where the buckle is. So maybe that doesn't come undone. I don't want to undo it. All this tape stuff, it keeps sticking to them. And then his hair has some tape on it. We're going to have to deal with that. His hair's not as crunchy as some of the other reviews that I looked at. I think I saw at least one review that talked about his crunchy hair. Yeah, we got some double-sided tape going on here. And he's got stirrups. Is that what those are called? Holding his pants on that one. It's sticky from the tape, the old tape. So the back, we have a button. His shirt was poking out of the back. I guess you could flatten that better. And his shirt has stirrups too, or a stirrup. It's, they've got to have names for that, for bodysuits that have a strap underneath. And that was a little girdle. That's what keeps his shirt into place. And also what keeps his shirt into place is they strategically have it double-sided taped to his chest. A lot of double-sided tape in these sets. So I guess his chest is going to be sticky too. 
on this side. We prefer it to flow. And he is totally jacked. You can't really, you don't really notice how jacked Max Steel is, at least I didn't, until you put him next to Barbie, put him next to Ken, and it's ridiculous. So there he is, like so, and let me take out his little hair strap. I guess I'm going to comb it out. We're going to look at him. You want to take a look at his face? Let's get this shirt off. Let's see this. Let's see if he has different colored underwear. Oh, he still has some tape on his chest. That shirt's really cool, though. Like, it looks good, flouncy like that. I think he has the same colored underwear. So they really did just grab a Max Steel body. They didn't just grab a Max Steel body, though, because... Uh, see the underwear is the same shade and it says the same numbers on the back 1998 1998 yeah that's when they made this body I guess but if you haven't seen a Max Steel body before this is what it looks like and do I have a Ken standing by let me see, I must have a can in. I have a classic can. Here's a classic can body compared to which I put a Max Steel villain head on. But yeah, I mean, they're roughly the same size. One guy's just a little shorter, one guy just is a little more shredded because this guy's still a big guy i mean the classic ken was a pretty beefy ken more beefy than the kens today this is not one of the 80s ones though so it's not it's a little more slimmed down actually but it's cool I should probably do a all the boy doll comparison video. I think people would like to see that, an updated one. But here's the hair, and yeah, it's not too hard. It's actually a good amount of stiffness. I guess I'll probably gel it. Maybe I'll put it up in a man bun. I don't know what I'm, I'm gonna have to do something with it. I don't know why. Oh yeah, I do know why. I want it because the wrist guard and unfortunately the skin tone is exactly the same might be a little lighter you know what it is a little lighter this head would probably look quite would look better on it because it is a bit lighter okay it's a bit lighter it's going to match but am i going to be pulling this head off all the time maybe maybe not take a look at his eyelashes and the beard and it is painted very well but i don't know the hair seems to be controlling itself and i'm kind of being able to brush out the gel with my uh, fingers some necks on the ken heads are longer and the ones that are a bit older have a little bit longer neck so he kind of has a stubby neck in comparison to this guy. So your best bet is to find Ken heads that have a that are a little bit older. And I will uh, probably look for that too. I'll have to do that in another video. Let's take a look at those forearms. So yeah you can see, but I wouldn't be able to know that. See how I don't even know which one is the right one by looking. See the top part? We've got all these striations, marks in his upper arm. And then that would be on the back side of the other arm. I wonder if I could take some of the Max Steels apart and swap out the arms. I mean, I don't really mind the silver bracelet, but it's really cool. I mean, they're basically the same shape, so it doesn't make any difference really. That the arm is like that. It doesn't bother me at all. Um, the only thing that I don't like that he has really large hands, 
but it does make for cool scenes with Barbie because he can really hold on to her with these big hands. But there's decent articulation and he does fit Ken shoes. Sometimes you have ankle problems because he has thicker ankles and sometimes you have problems with the pants because of the thicker thighs, but he definitely wears classic pants very well. And then there's no problem with sweatpants getting those on, usually anyway. And they look quite good on those bodies. He's really cool. I'm happy to have this body. I mean, am I going to take off the head? No, I just heard a little crack there. I don't like that. But the head is totally articulated. He just has the normal bend. He doesn't have the double joints, unfortunately. But he is kind of cool. He's super cool. Let me know what you think of him. Let me know if you think I should dress him up in some clothes. Let me know if you know of any outfits that you think he would look good in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. My plan was to open him up and dress him in some other outfit. I can at least put this leather jacket on him and show you what that looks like. I have some world peacekeepers and I think that their clothes would probably work really well on Max Steel and I've never done a video like that so I'll probably do that because I have some world peacekeeper cool sets that I haven't tried yet. But this makes sense for him. So you can see, if I can squeeze on a leather jacket from Ken, then he can probably fit anything. So this is suitable for him. He's kind of a D-bag, for sure. I'm opening the Jude Devereaux, the Raider, with the secret. Today we're looking at the Jude Devereaux Raider, the Raider set, with the Max Steel Ken doll coming up after this. If you've watched some of my videos on my Max Steel, I have re headed some of them. I have done, oh, I don't even have that one with me. Oh, I have to get that.